What's up guys? So you've seen me use the Oracle cards in some of my videos, especially when it's dealing with Apollo, but I never really did a formal review of this Oracle deck. So the Oracle deck I want to review today and let you guys see it, see how it works, see some of the artwork and let you guys see the cards. And then I'll actually do an Oracle reading, one for myself and then one for you just to show you how I like to do the Oracle readings. So the review I'm going to do is of this deck right here. That is the Mythic Oracle, Wisdom of the Ancient Greek Pantheon. This is the one that um, a lot of people recommend, and so do I. This is the only one I use. So let's check out this deck and do an Oracle reading today. So again, this is the Mythic Oracle, The Wisdom of the Ancient Greek Pantheon by Carissa Mulatto, with artwork by Michelle Lee Phelan. Just want to show you the box in the back so you guys can see what the back looks like as well. Become the hero, discover your destiny, and channel the power of the gods. Includes 45 cards and a 160-page guidebook. sides gives you a sneak peek of what the artwork looks like meet primal forces titans gods magical beings and legendary heroes discover the power and the passion of the deities like zeus king of the olympians learn from the triumph and trials of heroes like achilles who won in glory who won glory in battle discover the courage and the compassion of being like psyche whose gentle beauty inspired the god of love himself excellent deck so we're going to go ahead and open it so what's cool about this box is that it's also a case for them, and that's what I actually store them in. So when you open it up, there's your guidebook. And it's with a little biography of the author and the artist. Speaking of Psyche, there she is. That could be a message for someone, which is really interesting. We read about Psyche on the back of the box and she's the first one in there. So letting you guys see this. So as mentioned, it is a guidebook. So what does this have? As you've seen, it breaks up the cards in chapters by Olympians, by the magical beings and heroes. I think there's one more page in the front. Yes. The Protogenoi and the Titans. So that way, whenever you are looking up your reading, you can find it very easy. And as you can see, it starts with an introduction and card spreads, which give you some idea about different ways you can lay out the deck that you work with. Let's see if I can do this one with one hand. So there's some examples of the different kinds of spreads you can do. And the, the kinds of spreads kind of give you different kinds of readings. I won't really go over all those. And then you got the daily spread. Pick one card to reflect the general theme for the day. Reflect on the nature of the, that is being represented. Pay attention to the message of the card and allow it to guide you throughout the day. This is the one that I do. It's always the easiest and the one that you're going to see me do today. And it helps give you a daily message and a theme. And it's very accurate and very interesting. As I said, this is the only deck I've ever used when it comes to Oracle readings. And I highly recommend it. And actually, but this time last year, I did an Oracle reading. And it told me that last year was going to be a big spiritual year for me. I believe it was the Helios card. And little did I know that I would start this YouTube channel and it would become what it has become. So, very interesting. And also really cool is that it not only tells you what the card is, it tells you the myth behind the god or goddess or hero or whatever you uh, choose. Gives you the myth of who they are. Like this is Gaia, for example. 
And then on the back, it tells you what that card means. So with that said, let's, I'm gonna actually show you guys the individual cards so you can see what the cards look like. So these cards, these cards are a little out of order just cause I've, I use them. So they may be in some random order, but let you guys see. We have Hades. The Morai. Persephone. Hebe. Nemo Sini. Poseidon. Artemis. Heracles. Helios. Apollo. Demeter. Hamera. Pontus. Eos. Thanatos. Oh, come here. <laughs> Hera. Uranus. Bellepharon. Gaia. Dionysus. Odysseus. Zeus. Pan. Achilles. Eros. Pandora. Hestia. Orpheus. Selene. Kiran. Hermes. Athena. Aphrodite. Rhea. Perseus. Gate. Aries. Prometheus. Hephaestus. Cronus. Eris. Uh, 
Atlas. Even Helen of Troy. Bemis. And then Psyche. All right, so those are the cards. And like I mentioned before, I'm gonna do a few readings to show you how I do it. So the first one I'm gonna do, I have the deck in my hand, since I have a hands-free holder for my camera, so I can actually do this in front of you guys and show you and pull it live in front of you and show you that this is not some kind of trick or something. But we're gonna see what the cards have to say. So all you do is shuffle the deck until you feel like it's time to pull a card. And that card is going to be your message. And so before I ever do a reading or look in my deck, I always do a prayer to Apollo, who is the god of the oracles. And it goes back all the way to the Oracle of Delphi, that how oracles prayed to Apollo and how Delphi was the city of Apollo. And so that's what I like to pray, who I like to pray to before we do a reading. So that's what I'll do. So that's optional. That's not in the book. That's just a personal thing I like to do. So I say something like, blessings to you, great Apollo, great God of the oracles. And I thank you for this gift. And I pray that I receive the message that I need to know today and help me receive it. And I thank you for it, great God, great and generous God. Health to you and the blessings to the gods of Olympus. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to shuffle and then pull a card out. Just so you guys know. So we still have Psyche on the bottom and Hades, like in the review, or when I was showing you guys, Hades is still on top. So let's shuffle. So I literally do it like this. So you guys can see. I know with tarot that um, they say if a card falls out, that is a card to keep. So that's a thing you might want to try with Oracle decks. So I'm still shuffling. It's just kind of hard to do it and holding it up like this. So I'm going to even not look. So you can probably hear it though. So this is the message for you. So you just kind of feel it and you can pull it from anywhere. You can, if I, you can kind of see how I have it open in the middle right here. So if I felt like I needed to pull it from in here, that's when I usually pull it from in there. But I feel like I don't even have to, that is the back card. So you saw me looking at the camera, so I don't know what this is, but this is a message for somebody. And I'm going to read it and then sh show you guys, then tell you what that card means. And then I'll do one for me. And then we'll go ahead and read uh, the um, other card that was the first one as well, since that could have been possibly a message as well. So three cards we'll look at today. So the first one is Eos, which is New Beginnings. So the next thing you do is that you find your book and flip it to the page you need and you see it's Eos New Beginnings. It tells you the myth. So it says that Eos is the daughter of the Titan Hyperion, who is the god of light, and Thea, who is the goddess of heavenly light, and the sisters of Helios, the sun and Selene the moon. She is the personification of the dawn. Each day she rises out of Oceanus, the ocean and opens the gates of heaven so that Helios can ride through them and illuminate the sky. She is incredibly beautiful with rosy fingers, golden arms, and large white wings. She is often depicted as wearing a tiara and yellow, a yellow dress woven with flowers. Very beautiful. All right, so what does Eos, the new beginning card mean? So if you draw this card, dawn is here. The long dark night is over and you stand at a new beginning of a new day. 
This card comes with a burst of new energy, as all possibility is open to you now. This is a good time to start afresh, make plans, hatch ideas, and open up to your rising inspiration. This time is right for new beginnings, and you will be projecting this into the world. So don't be surprised if opportunities start knocking on your door. Unexpected meetings, gifts, or invitations may turn up. Enjoy this period and allow yourself to be guided by the universe and your inner voice. A new day has dawned in your life, so celebrate and enjoy it. A journey awaits you. So that's your message for today. Really cool. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing, and I will see what the cards have for me today. So I just want to say while we're doing these Oracle decks and Oracle readings that don't always expect a good message because sometimes it's not always something good that you'll receive. And that also means don't be afraid of it. And so it won't always be a good message, but you never know. So this time I got Kiron, who just happened to be on the bottom and just showing you guys where I'm at on the deck. And Eos, I put Eos back on top. <sighs> All right, so I'm going to do one for me. Again, I'm just going to shuffle. And it doesn't really matter how many times you shuffle. It's just whenever it feels right. And apparently it feels right now. So let's see what we got. Actually, let me show you this. Boom. Right there. So how cool was that, guys? I shuffle the deck to read my card, and then it pulls out to be the same card. Really cool. So that'll happen. Sometimes you'll shuffle a deck, and you'll pull a card, and sometimes you'll receive the same message again because it's the message that they want you to know and have for that day. And don't try to, you don't really want to shuffle it again just to pull another card because if you get the same card and just try to shuffle it again to just get something different, it is um, almost insulting in a way because you're wanting just to get, get another one because you think you made a mistake. But sometimes that is the message that you need to have. And you don't want to shuffle a deck again just because you pulled the same card because you may be getting a false message. Just because the card's different doesn't mean that's the message that you were supposed to receive today. So it's very human in us to want to just shuffle it again and try again if you get the same card but again you have to accept the cards for what they are because that may be the message for all of us today just how i thought i was going to give you a message um it turns out it was a message to me as well so what we do now is take it in and receive it and we thank apollo and the gods so thank you great apollo for the message today and i thank you that you help us see what we need to know so blessings to you great god for this deck and for your wisdom for helping us in our time. Blessings to you, great God. And so there you go, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Mythic Oracle, the deck that I highly recommend that I that is a must for me, that is likes to practice divination. This is a lot of people would recommend this as well, and it's for good reason. This has never failed me, has been a really well worth purchase. So check that out. I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you later.